All right, so I placed an interior wall inside of the floor plan, and my plan is now to anchor some stairs. Uh, there's going to be a few stairs here, uh, six of them, uh, small landing, and then looks to be eight stairs that will finish up here, getting us onto the second floor. So let's just start with six stairs and see where it gets us. Um, so I've got the 3D cursor placed roughly where the stairs are going to be, where they'll start. I'm going to push, I've got the wall selected. I'm going to push tab and I'm going to go to edge mode and select this edge and I'm going to right click and subdivide. Let's go back to vertex mode. I'm going to grab that specific vertex. And I'm just going to eyeball it to get it close to where that base of that first step is going to start. So I'm just going to push G to grab. And I will push Y. And just slide it over a little bit. All right. Uh, and then what I'm going to do next, I guess I'll tab out of edit mode. I will make sure that I'm in Archimesh rather than the room. And I'm going to add some stairs. In this case, a lot of times I'll ignore the window that pops up. But in this case, I'm going to make sure that I've entered six. And I'm just going to go with the standard width, depth, etc. I can change things as I need to if I'd like. So the stairs generated, though, in the middle of the wall. And that kind of makes sense, seeing as I had the origin point for them on the edge of this wall. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to push R, <clears throat> and I'm going to push Z, and then I'm going to push 180, and that'll get the stairs facing the way that I would like. And then... Let's do a top view, and I'm going to push G, and then I'm going to just slide the stairs over to where they need to be. And then we'll work with this little half wall that looks like it's going to be here, and uh, the landing next.